Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys about the Recreates an application I created. It's a software. It was uh, influenced heavily by my tutor from university, but uh, made it my own kind of thing. Looking to rebrand that, actually redevelop something new in the next couple of weeks after I'm done with all this Unreal programming. Um, let me just show you how the application works. You uh, press one of the buttons once in line that generates the link towards you in the form. Yeah, click that now. Okay. Because uh, ray tracing is really uh, stressful on the CPU, it uh, means every time you make a change or you change your lighting values, the uh, amount of rays you're using, um, the direction of the light, you have to then recast all these rays, recalculate everything. So you can't really use it as a real time solution currently, as we speak, because the whole uh, ray tracing process is um, very, very stressful on the CPU and it's a very slow thing to produce renders as you can see. Let me change the pulse to 8, you'll see the renders. I just pressed the A button now, taking a long time to compute all the values for everything, and you'll see it switch in a second. But uh, you see I just lost the ball then. Um, and now how, I now have A on the screen, but it took so long to calculate that it's kind of not, you can't have real time graphics like in the game. Uh, I'm able to adjust the light values. Um, this is going to take a little while to update because uh, as I'm saying, as, as ray tracing is such a stressful process, you see the light just got brighter. It takes longer to, it takes a long time to uh, redisplay the decisions we make. You see, it's it's going up, it's going up, and I'm going to start bringing the light back down now. It's just going to take a little while because uh, it's such a stressful process. It's a long process. It's a long process, like I said. Um, next, I'll be showing you that you're able to move the. It's actually still going up because it's just so uh, CPU heavy. Yeah, it's going back down now. Um, I'll be showing you that you can move the light position to different locations, and uh, and then you'll you'll change the way the the shadows on the ball are because currently you see the shadows around the edge of where the light would be, right? Like shadows are towards the, the rear end of the the spheres. Let me just reset it so it's back to normal, normal lighting uh, intensity, because uh, we've been changing the intensity so much. It'll take a long time, especially with the rendering display refresh to uh, get back to the way we want it to look. All right, so yeah, that's that's reset. Let me uh, move the light towards the top left corner now. You can see the lights move, and now the shadows on a different position of the spheres. Uh, so uh, this just shows that uh, the lights can be moved. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for my uh, my application. It was done using C++, OpenGL, and uh, ray tracing algorithms. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions about the code? Um, feel free to message me and ask. I'll be more than happy to go through it and speak about my experiences using OpenGL.